Welcome forward to star 24 of our reflections, which means we're now over halfway through our pilgrimage. So I did think it'd be worth just pausing on that thought and reminding us why we're doing this. And that actually is a pilgrimage or pilgrimage. And it really is about going back to the scriptures, which is what we've been doing. We're looking at the scriptures with a, a different technique. However, I would like to think that it's about going forward into the scriptures. So that's just a reminder of what we're doing. So we're using this free word or free concept idea about looking at the scriptures as a way of orientating ourselves through the scriptures to sort of draw out meaning. And I suppose being halfway through, I mean, what's coming out for me, and I've, again, I've mentioned it before, this concept of an analogy of faith, which I'm going to talk about more at the end. But I think I'm beginning, because it's a bit of an exploration for me as well, doing this sort of complete, you know, doing something completely new and using this method is completely new for me. And it's just quite spontaneous in, in some respects. What's happening is that I'm beginning to see a lot more uh, I'm actually able to sort of, I suppose, see the relevance of different parts of the scriptures to each other. So it's a bit like being hyperlinked. And I suppose all these different words and thoughts and ideas are sort of, uh, I suppose, a bit like stars in the sky forming constellations or galaxies. And so that rather than seeing the words as individual parts or the, the scriptures as individual parts, I can see the sort of the beginning to sort of link in. So that's one of the, I suppose, benefits I'm getting from this technique. So anyway, halfway, over halfway through our reflections. And uh, so we're going forward into scriptures and the three words we'll be using today are friendliness, consoling, and model of workers and the scripture. So it's all about loving our enemies. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbour and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing than others? Do not, or do not even the Gentiles do the same? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. So again, if you want to just stop the video, give that some thought through the lens or through the stars of friendliness, consoling and model of workers. I think just like I said, just a minute ago i can i'm using this method going through slowly and using these words as a way of um, trying to orientate through the scriptures and draw out extra deeper meaning this one is concept of love and it's about loving your neighbor and loving you and loving your enemies and therefore that reminded me of going back to the previous stars on the beatitudes about Blessed are the peacemakers, uh, they will be called children of God. And so therefore, um, and it's quite explicit in this part of the scripture. So this concept of being friendliness, um, being a child of God, loving your enemies. And again, the word friendliness, if that is linked into love, patience, kindness and so forth, you can actually console people through your friendliness and therefore that can also be linked to this concept of you are a model of of that by being friendly you're a model of that and again like we just said you can console people so i've, I've got to get i'll be giving that some more thought but also this idea that if you love your enemies um that God, I suppose, created the sun and the rain and, and, it, and the sun uh, shines on both the righteous and the unrighteous or the good and the evil, if you like. In the same way, rain 
sort of reigns on the good and the evils. Therefore, friendliness should be about being friends with the good and I suppose your enemies or people you don't get on with. And so there's that big link there. And therefore, you can, again, it goes back to consoling people. And therefore, go back to the model of workers. Given what we've just said, and I think it's about being a peacemaker, being so you're working to be a peacemaker. And to do that, you need to be friendly, which will attract lots of people and again, console people. So I suppose it is similar to sort of handing out hope to other people or handing out joy to other people, but to all people, not just your, your friends. And that reminds me of um, this concept of friendliness as being contagious and it spreads. In fact, it's scientifically proven that friendliness does actually spread and um, people can become happy through people being friends with each other and being friendly. So that's important. But so just to finish off with that, I, you know, again, the link goes back to the Beatitudes about how we should live our life in society. And I suppose that's what we're trying to do on this pilgrimage. Think about how we should conduct our lives and how we should live in society. And it really goes back to that blessed are the peacemakers. So that really is about loving all, not just your friends, being friends with all, consoling all, not just your friends. And uh, they will be called children of God. So I'll leave it there, but but I still, again, just as I'm trying to finish this, it's, again, and we are over halfway, this, this concept of all the scriptures, all the thoughts and reflections we've been doing and the words are starting to come together in some sort of pattern, if you like, in the sky about maybe how we should be living. So I'll be giving that some more thought as we go to the end of our reflections so i appreciate that was a longer one but we are halfway through so it is an opportunity to stop reflect evaluate and decide and um, so i'll be giving this some more thought so with that god bless